And if you're watching, and I'm sure many of you are judging by the messages that I'm seeing coming in every second of every minute, uh, then you're enjoying what you're hearing. David Adley, what a guy. What a guy. We enjoyed him, Simon. Did we not? Bit of personality with the lad as well. He's not shy, was he? No, no. I mean, he's got to go and win his fight now, isn't he? Because yeah. ultimately he's coming off the back of a defeat. I mean, he talks a good game, doesn't he? So we'll see. Sure thing. Um, uh, in the world of football, Coventry are parted company with Mark Robbins. More reaction to that throughout the afternoon right here on Talk Sport. But the three of us has become the five of us because constantly we invite, as I say, the great and the good promoters, fighters, trainers into this studio. And I'm delighted to say it's a bit of a special occasion because... Uh, Top promoter and manager Sam Jones is with us this lunchtime. And alongside him, he represented Team GB. He's an Olympic fighter and he's turning pro. And he's Patrick Brown. Gentlemen, good afternoon to both of you. How are you doing? You okay? Great. Yeah, Don't look so worried, Patrick. This is oh, going to be okay. a breeze, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Great having you on board, especially this fellow around. <laughs> he's not short on words. Um, so you're about to turn pro. How do you feel at this moment? Because this is, for anybody in sport, never mind boxing, this is a key moment, a pivotal moment. Yeah, but you've got confidence in yourself. Yeah, definitely. This is a key moment. I've been dreaming of this since a kid. Um, obviously, getting on the Team GB squad and stuff like that, that that's obviously a massive achievement. But my dream is always to be in the, the pro arenas and all the crowds and kind of follow the footsteps of... Uh, Ricky out and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm here now and I can't wait to get the ball going. Yeah, Pat, you trained in the same gym as Ricky did as a, as a youngster as well. And I know that your dream was always to turn professional. You was out in the Olympics. You had a tough fight in the first round of that Olympics. You lost that fight in a close fight as well. Two things I want to ask you. One, what, what did you think of the whole Olympic experience? Was it what it lived up to? And I think your style was definitely always going to be more suited to the professional ranks than than the amateur game. But what was your thoughts on that Olympics? So in terms of the whole village and how they ran it and everything, it, it was unbelievable. You're seeing different nationalities, different shapes and sizes from gymnasts to strong men. And it, it was a surreal experience. But when I was there for so long, obviously we were in a holding camp. And uh, as the weeks were going, I'm very just down to earth and I like walking my dog. And I just thought to myself, <laughs> I've trained all my life to get to the pinnacle and I'm here now. And I'm just very much just sat on the job and then I'll just go and do my own thing with my family and play a bit of golf and stuff. So I couldn't wait to actually get back home and get back to normality, mm. to be fair. But do you know what? Team GB, I was going to say, though, Spencer, found medals hard to come by. 100%. And that yeah. was a big disappointment, wasn't it? We're coming to you in a second, Sam, but that was a disappointment. Yeah, obviously it's a disappointment. As, you know, Britain, it, it, we're, we're known to have great fighters from the, uh, the previous cycles and stuff, and it was a shame. Obviously, we had Lewis Richardson come back with a bronze, which was great. And I just thought... I don't know, there was a lot of... Like, the thing is, amateur boxing I thought there was now, some terrible decisions yeah, out there, mate. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, I thought, like, five of the six that I'd seen out there or so, like, should have got victories. I thought that the, the scoring out there was absolutely terrible in the Olympics, yeah, which has always been a controversy surrounding it for the last few, yeah, you know, few, few games now. Yeah. And that's a big problem. Yeah, it is a big problem. And we'll look at LA in 2028. There's, there's speculation that it's not going to go ahead, which is a shame because boxing is the most historic event in the Olympic sure. games. So. Yeah, but well done, though, Pat, for being there and representing your country. I mean, brilliant in itself. So Sam Jones, manager of Patrick Brown, what what have you got in this land? I honestly, yeah, you say you look at me like this, but he's. Um, I think with the crowd he's going to draw, the the style that he brings, he will be the face of British boxing very very soon. I genuinely believe that. You look at the ticket sellers in the country. There's not many out and out ticket sellers that 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 resonate to the people. Johnny Fisher being one. But Pat will rival that. What in, makes him so exciting? He's, 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 he's all action style. He's a crowd pleasing style. I saw that in the amateurs because I've watched him for a while in the in the in the amateurs. His his style is a professional boxer. Mm. And that's why he's the most sought after talent that's coming off the squad. As everybody's after him, every promoter, every single manager. And I'm very fortunate that I'm going to be uh, looking after him alongside uh, Jamie Moore. I mean, the, the amateurs, you know, is that apprenticeship, you know, for part of that development before you turn professional. And I think that Olympics has stood you in good stead because you talked a little bit there. I picked up on you talking about being away, you know, in camp and whatnot. But that's going to happen as a professional as well. And it, it does become very isolated and very lonely. So that really stands you in good stead because I've seen you box and I know your style and it is definitely more suited to the professional ranks. And I think you've got a bright, bright future there. But... That little bit that you talked about there, the hard part of it, that will have to come in the professional ranks as well. And that's why you have to tune yourself in for that. 
Definitely, yeah. I remember going to Kazakhstan and doing training camps there and you're in the middle of nowhere, you're, you're up at the top with the mountains around you and snow and it's a proper sort of rocky scene and I've been to just serious like just places you would never even imagine and um it, it's a great experience because you would never dream of going there in the first place but the people you're sparring the people you're fighting these are styles that you know i'm going into the pro game experiencing so in the long run when i'm obviously doing the european title and obviously the world titles and stuff like that i would have seen similar styles that i've obviously done in the amateurs and i know it's a completely different game but you can only take po positives from that mm. It's interesting. What's interesting to me, Simon, is a lot of Olympians have trod a similar path to the one that Pat's about to to tread, going pro. And of it's course. tough. Just before Simon comes in, have you had have, who's up there from your point of view that you've looked at and thought he's done it? I'm going to do. It. Who who have your idols been or are? To be fair, my idols have never actually been anyone from the circuit who have gone through and done it. You can obviously say AJ. AJ's changed the sport completely and it, what he's done in the sport and in a, such a short amount of time as well when he was yeah. an amateur, you can only give him credit. Yeah. But for me, it has always been just looking up at your already made professionals that haven't actually, you know, they, they've not done the amateur circuit all the way through. Like Hatton, he... he, he uh, he did the nationals and stuff like that, but then he just went pro with Warren straight away because he just wanted to just what, get straight in there. What I can add to that is that I was out there on them Olympics and you're looking at all the styles and you know the kids, whether they medal or whether they don't medal, whether they become Olympic gold medalists or not, you know the kids that are going to do well in the am, am, um, from the amateurs that transition into the pros because stylistically it's totally different. It's a different sport. And out of all of them, and Pat was one of the first ones to actually go out. You go, that kid's the one out of all of them that has the brighter future. Well, it's it, as amateur boxing goes, obviously you've got the up style, in and out, in and out and stuff, whereas that, that's just never been me. And it, it's not in my makeup. Like when I get in the ring, I, I want, uh, obviously you've got to be smart, you can't be taking punishment, but my guilty pre pleasure is, you know, having a bit of a tear up and I love it. And <laughs> as long as I'm smart and I'm. I'm, I'm getting around the ring the way I need to be. I, I'm in the middle of the ring and I'm waiting to have it because that's what I live for. So <laughs> don't, I don't, can't wait to don't, get going. And it, also, and these before guys, I get going, go on. in the amateurs as well, you you can watch all my fights on YouTube and the last round, I'm still there. I never mm. feel like I'm, God, I'm, I'm in trouble here. I need to get out. I'm out my depth. I warm into it. I'm like a vintage engine. Pat, I just I slowly start, you know, my rev start going up. And then when, when I'm really ready to go, Nearly got that Brazilian out of there, but it's my own fault. I went too, I went too, too slow on him, and it was all just it's experiences, isn't it? But I just can't wait to get the rounds under my belt now. Th this is the kind of talk you love, isn't it? Well, it's an interesting one, isn't it? You've seen, you know, in recent times, in the last twenty-five years or twenty years, you've seen Lennox come out as a heavyweight champion mm. that went on to have a stellar career. You've seen Audley Harrison come out with a gold, not go on and do that. I suppose the biggest question for you, Patrick, why did you choose Sam Brown? Sam Jones, even. Sam, Sam Jones. Brown. Sam Brown Sam don't Brown, exist. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sam Jones. Well, I'll be honest with you, I looked at, you know, many managers and managers reached out to me, which I'm, I was in a fortunate position. And I was kind of just, I was observing them all. And, you know, the boxing business, everyone says it, it's, a, it's a rap business. You've got to be careful with who you're mixing with and stuff. And I was kind of looking at it as a point, like, no offence, Sam, but I'm picking Sorry, the best man. out of, like, a bad, snaky bunch because that's the way you've got to have a mindset. <laughs> You do though, because you got Brilliant. You, you have to have a mindset. Like I've heard too many stories in the boxing business, and that, the, the last thing I on. want is, is to get you know. Yeah, who's going to promote you? So, who's Sam, promote? that's Sam, confidential you've been, at the you've moment. You've been demoted from the world. I've got yeah. it signed, yeah, but that, that's getting word. announced. But right, it's yeah. confidential at the moment. But um, oh, the, promote, the promoter's yeah, confidential yeah, yeah, just now. Yeah, it will be getting announced. Sam, I mean, I said to Pat at the top of this, don't lose a word. Far from worried, he's magnificent in this live setting. I mean, you have got someone here who's articulate, confident. I, I'm, I'll put my neck on the line, honestly. Like he will, right hands far, to God. yeah, both hands to God. He will, he will achieve way more than anybody that's coming off the, that Olympic cycle. It's definitely from the GB squad. I honestly believe I've got it with him. I, I, I really do believe that. You'll notice that with the crowds that come and support him, his style. I see your eyes light up then as well, Simon, when he said the style he's going to bring. Yeah, I'm he's just intense. interested in the philosophy. Yes. Of, he's intense. Yes. I'm, and, in, and, I'm interested and, in the philosophy of 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 building him now because. Yeah. You're you're creating a dynamic uh, around him that could be difficult for him to uh, to assume. Why is there a philosophy of go big, go hard with what he's going to do, rather than let him get into the professional ranks, let him learn his trade in the professional ranks, win a few fights, and then start screaming from the rooftops? Go hard or go home, Simon. To an extent, he, yeah. I look I look at the cruiserweight scene now. I'm not going to like disrespect names, disrespect by saying the actual names, but I look at the the cruiserweight scene right now, especially the domestic one. I, I, 
three fights I put him in with. It's not going to happen because there has to be a process behind it. But I'm telling you now, both hands, he would smash them to pieces. Obviously, it's it's a talking business, and every fighter they they always back themselves because you have to. You, of course, you, should, yeah, you shouldn't be in the game yeah. if you don't back yourself. But if I'm being real, obviously I'm I'm gonna get managed right. I'm gonna have the right footsteps going forward, and every single fight uh, I'm going into, I never underestimate my opponent, whether they're a journeyman or whether they're someone from I don't know, like a, you know, if I know the resume and they don't seem to mm. have the edge on me, I still go into that fight like it's it, my life depends on it, and my sort of mindset is just put whoever in front of me and I'll do a job and that's not me disrespecting anyone because I respect everyone no, I sure. get in with and that covers but over it's yeah. just obviously yeah. you've, you've got our, it's all talk and all this but all I want to do is get in there and yeah get get a bit dirty we, <laughs> we're excited to see you and Patrick as you turn pro thanks for joining us at this key moment in your career because it's an exciting moment for you and we're excited for you no, well, thank, you. Well, thank you very much for having me as well. No, I really appreciate it. Thank Remember you. the name, Patrick Brown, Team GB Olympic boxer, turn pro, and we'll follow him with huge interest. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.